Okay, we're back for the boys game. Got about five minutes before we tip it off. And, Zach, as we come into this game, Lincoln comes into this game undefeated. Now, they lost a kind of a, a scrimmage game to or benefit game of some sort to Shiloh, which we've lost to them as well. Uh, but Lincoln comes in undefeated. And, they, you know, they made a nice little run last year in the, in the regional tournament. And so uh, they, they came back with high expectations. Uh, Prairie Grove, on the other hand, they come in. Uh, not a great season last year. A lot of played with a lot of heart. Made a nice little run in district. Didn't quite be able to make it to the regionals. This year, I've watched them play. They're playing about 500 ball, one and one in conference. And I'll tell you, best game they played so far was a, a loss to Gravit. But what, Gravit is probably the toast of the conference. That game was a battle. If Prairie Grove can play like that, they will play with anybody. Well, from what you said the day after, that game was really, really interesting. <laughs> um, well, I. I They've got to play with you know they got to play with the grit. The you know, they've intensity. got you know, maybe maybe you're not as as physically talented, but uh, you can make up for that with hustle. Hustle never has a day off. Um, you th that's that's what they're going to have to do. And you know, I'm watching them warm up here, and I see some some familiar faces. Uh, I see a middle linebacker out there, which is always nice to have. You know, if you ever need to get a, a quick foul and send a message, middle linebacker is not a bad guy to have out there. But you no, know, wa watching Lincoln warm up, and I mean they're. they're they're in a great deal. Of, I mean, there's nobody out there that, that's seven foot tall. So, you know, you're in the game. You play your game, execute your offense, knock down some shots, and, and take your ch take your chances. I think I, I think you'll uh, I think you'll be uh, you'll enjoy tonight, Zach. Uh, there's there uh, to watch Dylan Sainer as well. A big inside uh, kind of takes up a lot of space, but uh, plays a good basketball game. And uh, you'll see tonight. Uh, and Storley will come in. He does well as. Uh, also, and then they are missing tonight a key player, Derek Arguello. Uh, Derek is uh, out doing some mission service, I believe, in Guatemala. He is. And uh, wish him and his father well as they're there doing an important work and appreciate that. And uh, But they'll miss him tonight. He's a very good defensive player. But really, the scoring starts and begins with Ty Tice with the, with the, with the Prairie Grove Tigers. Watch Ty since he was just a little kid. Um, you know, Ty, Ty can play. And if he gets off to a hot start, you know, Prairie Grove's got a shot. You know, if, if everything runs through him, he's got to knock down some shots, play some good defense, and you know, then, then the Tigers can get off and run. Well, I believe the one thing, the Tigers have some good size. They've got they've got Storley. They've got Saner. They've got uh, Tanner Purcell, who's also in there, and he'll help out a little bit. Tanner's a heck of a second baseman in, in men's softball. <laughs> if, if you play in the Fayetteville League, Tanner's an awesome second baseman. I don't think Coach Ed liked me hitting him in the head, but, you know. Well, late, uh, another player that you'll see play quite a bit, and he often starts as Leighton Smith. Again, very strong uh, player. Parker Galligan will also, uh, he'll, he'll man a lot of minutes. He usually starts. So, size, they have they can play the half-court game. They can play the full-court game. Prairie Grove has got a team that, while not – favored to win the conference can definitely put a lot of pressure and decide on who does and they they can make a run and that was seen when they played gravit in gravit before the holidays well, well let's take go it, ahead. it matters when you peak yeah. you peak now or do you peak you know, when when tournament time starts that's, and, and in basketball that's when you definitely want to peak well they're getting ready for the starting lineups here in just a few seconds and She's going to have to take you home and feed you. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> hey, I know Peyton. Peyton Holst, the starting for also number 10, Dylan McConnell. Number, number 23, Justin Brewer. Ossie Escarino. And he'll be a good player tonight. You'll see Lincoln, number 24. And then number 33, Shandon Goldman. And now, double zero, double zero, Tanner Purcell starting for the Tigers. Leighton Smith back in the starting lineup. Ty Tice, he'll be he'll be a key tonight. Parker Galgan, he makes some big shots too. And number 33, Jacob Storley. 
Coach Coach Ed has used a lot of different lineups, Zach. So it's, it's this is probably I think this is the first time I've seen this group start together as we start the heart of the conference play. So number 33, he's a. I'm gonna see if they got height. They don't have a height on him. I'm guessing six five. Yeah, that's the kind of guy you. you know, he's kind of tall, a little skinny. That's the kind of guy you put Saner out there, let him bang on Saner for a while. <laughs> Shandon Goldman, he's a forward. I'm going to guess here that uh, Goldman's going to probably out jump. Oh, you'd be surprised. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Holst. Escarino inside, Good knocked day. out to Ty Ties. Now Parker Galligan. Oh, Parker. Parker should just grab that. I think he tried to take it behind his back. Yeah, they had numbers. Escarino drives. Think he got away with a walk. No, he didn't get away with he it. He didn't get away with it. Eugene called that. <laughs> There's Purcell, and now full court pressure by the Wolves. There he gets it to Purcell, throws it away, and Escarino has the ball. Kind of a that shaky one, start on both sides. Well, the thing interesting about that, for, there's Escarino. No good, rebound, gets his own rebound, up and good. Escarino gets the first points, comes at 7.09 to go here in the first. That pressure is not like they're right in their face, and it's just kind of like they're sitting back. Here, blocking the pla blocking the passing lanes. There we go, and now Tice takes over. And it's two to zero, Lincoln. You know, we talk about this in football oftentimes. There's Parker Galgan, little jumper, no good. Tice, and now Hulse comes down with a rebound. We talk about it in football matchups, and that's something that in basketball may even be more than football is matchups. Um, I think Prairie Grove, when they played Gravit, the matchup was really good, and there's Tyson there drops go. that in. It'll be interesting to see how this matchup looks. Two all, 6.20 to go here in the first quarter. McConnell, he gets it out to Escarino. Three point on the way, Goldman no good, and a couple more Storley. of those. We're going to build a new gym. Oof. Come down, we'll pull down the rebound, guys. You know they tried to. Oh, they're going to say he was shooting the ball. Mm. What is that? Huh. Whatever well, it is, it works. Yeah, I, I don't know what that uh, what that move is, but uh, hey, if it works, it works. Three to two. See if he does again. Yeah. <laughs> Must be a relaxation thing. Hmm. Never seen that before. Ooh, dangerous. I do not – I don't like the way we're attacking that zone or that press. They're playing too fast. It, it's, it's you know, rush, 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 rush. And take, take your time. No shot clock. Get the shot you want. Galligan, little jumper. Galligan usually knocks that down, so that, that that's going to fall for us eventually, and we'll take that shot. He's just off a little bit to start the game. There's Goldman. He's a big guy to be playing out there at the top of the key. And he's already <laughs> launched a three. I, I'd, I'd give him that shot. Nice job. Look up. Ah, oh, couldn't quite get it up. And now there's Goldman. He's going to launch another three. This time it's good, yeah. and it's seven to two. There's the steal. And yeah, telegraph that pass. I think Coach Ed and Mike could use a timeout as how we're going to play that 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 press that they have. Got a guy in the corner. 
Seven to two, Lincoln leads, 4.35 to go here in the first quarter. Tice thought about a three. Well, they're gonna call a foul there. Something doesn't feel right, no. doesn't Zach? Just, no, it's just it's like they're out of sync or something. Yeah, a little, little disjointed at the start. You know, thinking too much. Colton Barnum now in. There's another middle linebacker for you. Yeah, he he was not afraid to hitch on the football field. Yeah, they're they're jumping tie at the at the top of the key. They're not gonna let him get that shot off. There's Nathan Smith, no good. Rebound goes to Escarino. And now Holtz moving it quickly. There's Goldman. Ooh. Prairie Grove really looks out of sync to me tonight. Work inside, no good. Rebound goes Storley. First game Storley started in a while. Nice move. Nice yep, job split by Storley. It. Split it, little head fake, split it, and take the ball to the hole. One thing you'll see as you watch Storley play, he likes to use the backboard. Get a little bit of old school there. Three-pointer on the way, and that's good. Goldman now hits another deep three. He's got two of those, and it's 10-4. to four. Wow. Late good Smith move. drives. Good nice move. move. Storley. Got to finish. Whew. And Storley stays with it. There's a quarterback for you. Well, he just stayed with it. I mean, Goldman's going to be big in there. He's more than six. I said he was six five earlier. He's got to be bigger. That's off. Yeah. And now Ty. Quick Ty, hands. Quick nice hands. Nice job by Leighton Smith. Saw he couldn't get the rebound, so he wanted to make sure that Lincoln didn't. He was able to bat it out to Tice. Yeah, I like where Coach Ed's going here. We're gonna we're gonna bring in some size. Yeah, you got to like that. And now. Tice trying to get something going in there. Galligan, Smith. 2.20 to go, 10 to 6. Nah, you don't want to do that. That's not the pass there, guys. Yeah, forcing it. That over the back. Not playing smart right now, just, to, just not. Not sound fundamental basketball here. Dalton Simmons coming in. And also number 23, Justin Brewer back in. And for the Tigers, in comes Weston Fitz and Dylan Sainer. But look who went out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he didn't. Here's over in the corner. He, he doesn't want any part of Sainer. I know that. Whew. He's hit He's three. Got That's thirteen to six. And yeah, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to account for that. You're gonna have to get somebody. You cannot. I know he's tall. And he's big. You cannot let him have that open shot. Not when he's knocking it down. Tice trying to match him. No good. Rebound goes. Whistle. One of the things that last year's team that we watched, a lot of athletes on last year's team, had a lot of guys from the football team like Cooper Winters, uh, John Halbert, some mm. of those guys came over. Very athletic team, just not consistent. And I'm starting to see, I've watched, oh, I've probably watched about two-thirds of the team, this games the team's played this year, and I'm seeing that same inconsistency. And I think that's, to your point, you want to peak at the right time of the year, but consistency is very important. And boy, Prairie Grove gets a he break gotta settle on a, You got to settle on a lineup and a rotation. You know, get people comfortable in their roles, and you know, uh, hopefully you have people take those roles over and say, this is mine. 13 to 6. Tigers need to close with a couple of baskets here and close this thing I mean, down. Saner is just blocking out the sun. Poor Dalton Simmons. He doesn't know what to do with him. Why? I mean, drop it inside to him. Coach Ed's going to take a timeout with 56.2 seconds. Let's take it with him. Tigers trail 6 to 13. 
Clorox. Just hearing the name and you automatically think of the word clean. And Clorox is a lot more than just bleach. The Clorox family of products has something for the home, the business, professional grade, and more. No matter what the environment, Clorox has the product you need to meet your unique challenges. From the bathroom and the kitchen with Pine Saw and 409 to the laundry room with the standard Clorox bleach. And even if you're on the go with the Clorox wipes, you know the name stands for clean. Dirt and germs don't stand a chance as long as you're equipped with the family of Clorox products. Clorox. Proud sponsors of Tiger Athletics and Activities. Well, Zach, we really need a basket here with 56.2 seconds to go in the first quarter, trailing 13 to 6. Yeah, for nothing else, for momentum's sake. Yeah, they, I mean, they've been pretty stagnant here the last couple of uh, trips down the floor. Well, the three, you know, nine of those points have come from three pointers from Goldman. Oh, my gosh, there he is. He's wide open for three. It's Tice. No good. Yeah, There's Purcell, the rebound. There. Goes up. Good. Strong. There gets you go. it good. 13 to 8. And good weak side rebound. Nobody blocked him out. Now play good D this time down. Goldman on the bench. And a little confusion here defensively on who's got who. Yeah, they're going to get him for the charge. Mm. Escarino didn't like the call, but now no. with 18.1, the Tigers could Neither did the people down. next to us. <laughs> they weren't too crazy about the call either. Yeah, 24, and they're making sure of that. Is that his second? Nope, it's his first. Better get it over. It's going to be close. They, we got it over with nine seconds, Zach. Hmm. That was a nine second. Yeah, it's taken them a long time to get the ball over, over midcourt, and it just seems to disjoin everything offensively. Woo! Oh, there hey! you go. There you go, Ty Tice, 13 to 10. Those were big four points down yeah. the stretch. Well, the end of the first quarter, Lincoln leads Prairie Grove 13 to 10. We'll be back after these messages. I wonder if Buck Lewis had any ideas to what he was starting when he sold his first Ford back in 1946. He was on the square in Fayetteville. Then Tom and Herb Lewis made the move to the current location on North College back in 1969. But through all those years, a Lewis has always been at the helm, and that tradition continues today. It's that kind of family value and heritage that makes Lewis Automotive the place to buy your next vehicle. Be it a Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, Ram, or Jeep, new or used, you can still find a Lewis standing behind every single deal. Award-winning service. Six locations and over a thousand vehicles. It's amazing. A lot has changed, but the Lewis heritage and tradition continues. Lewis Automotive proudly serving Northwest Arkansas since 1946. This we'll is get your ready. show, Sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just here to, you know, uh, I'm here to hold down a spot. Last year, uh, Escarino had 18 and a 56-50 win against Prairie Grove, and now he's got off to a decent start. Storley had a nice game against Lincoln last year, scoring 12. And, and now, now you're looking for Sainer down low. I mean, he's the biggest guy on the floor. Give him a shot. He hasn't touched the ball yet. Well, the thing is, you got another big body in there with them. You got yeah, Barnum's 5'11". Yeah, he's a big body, but like you said, he's 5'11". Just get it up there high. And he's working. And he's inside. working. He's working to get. To, I mean, you can see him. They're starting to get, uh, starting to look down low to him a little bit. There he is. Now he's got him. He's got him. He's got, he had him pinned, and they just uh, there he is. Ugh. Ties for three. Bottom. Good, there good we possession. go. We're all tied good up. Possession. Seven straight points for the Tigers have now tied it up at 13. Well, they're going to go man to man, it looks like. There you go. There's Tice. Tice, take your time. There he goes. 
Nice, nice move. job. Nice move. And now nine straight, and the Tigers take a 15-13 lead. Now it's the the Wolves looking a little disjointed. Now the Tigers have turned up their defense. You know they're they're moving. They're they're they're. I'm not, I can't even think of what the, the, the word I'm looking for, but they're uh, they're passing off defenders well. They're going to give Sainer the foul Ooh, there. I don't know how you give him the foul. He didn't have control of the ball. I agree with you there. Boo. <laughs> they put Storley. <laughs> That's they all I got. You know, that, that, I, he's got to be talking. I think Storley's 6'3". Six, 6'3". Three. Six, three, yeah, I stood next to Jacob a couple of times during football that, season. He's, he's every be, bit of 6'3". I'm going to ask someone here in Lincoln how tall he is because it's bugging me. He's got to be he's, – he's a lot taller than I initially thought. He looks about Sainer's size. Oh, there you go. There's Big Dylan. Boy, I'll tell you what. If he ever gets motivated and, I mean, really decides to use that 6'6 frame, I mean, you're, you're talking about Patrick Ewing. I got a 6'6 read on him, Zach. Oh, he's standing next to Dylan right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Dylan outweighs him by about 140 pounds, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's he's six six and probably 58 pounds, and uh, you don't want that shot. Oh, look out! Ty Ty made a heads Ooh, up play the there day to save on that. that. One. Just don't look in sync, even on this. Even though they got the possession here, just looks look like they're standing around waiting for Ty to do something. You know, it's, it's dribble, pass, we're on the perimeter here. Get the ball down low, let Dylan Man, go to look, work. Dylan's working so hard. He there. Is just, he's just <laughs> running, he's, just he's run in the out. lane. Yeah. Try to get in there to him. Tice looking for a foul there, doesn't get it. Somebody, no, you cannot, I'm telling you, they left Goldman by himself over here. Why they didn't feed him. Yeah, they're, they're, losing track of, uh, they're losing track of the shooters. I do not like the way we're attacking this. Yeah. Look, you're already over the line. There you go. Ah. ah, so you can't have that. You got to hustle back. Right here, right here. Get it on over. Tice for three. That one's off. Yep. There Sainer. you go, Dylan. Nice, nice, nice. still. Nice. You don't have to put it down on the floor on that. Nice. nice. You got to get a timeout here. That was a nice steal that time by Holes. Sorry about that. Nice job by Holes. When you something's get the rebound burning. like that. Yeah, I know. I was just thinking something's <laughs> on fire. There, there you, you go. go. Nice job. 19-17, halfway through the second quarter. And it's, it's been a close game, a little bit of run by each team. Man, don't give him an open shot, guys. You know, Dylan just, uh, even by coming out on that, he affected that exactly. shot. Exactly. He, he, he threw it just a little higher than he anticipated. Nice job by Purcell to get it over. Now, they're waiting too long to get it to him. There's Storley for three, no good. Re Break road just looks, I, I don't know what the word is offensively. They're just, it, it, it almost looks robotic. You know, it's, it's, it's one dribble, pass the ball across the floor, look for the open shooter, fake the shot, but you know, pass the ball back across the floor. And you're right, there is something on fire. <laughs> Storley, you need to stay with him. You got to stay with him. Ugh. There you go. Nice job that time. I don't know what it's burning, but it's something. I'll be heading out that door yeah, over that exactly. way. Yeah, exactly. Looking for the. the starting lineup now in for the Tigers. 
If he'd have thrown that, there's Leighton Smith for three. No good. Rebound goes to Tice. He kicks it out to Purcell. Purcell for three. No good. Rebound goes to Storley. Storley going to lose it on the floor. Yeah, you, know, you didn't have to put it on the floor there. He can make your move without putting the ball on the floor. Two and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Tigers take their second timeout. 19-17, we'll take it with them. Tigers trail 17-19. Love God, love others, and serve others. The simple love others and serve others. The simple motto of Prairie Grove Christian Church. Whether it's supporting missionaries in Japan or the Ivory Coast of Africa or doing mission work in Guatemala or building homes in Mississippi or Alabama or the fun for the entire family of Upward Basketball, you'll find the members seeking to show our love for God through our love for our neighbors. If you're looking for a church home, we invite you to experience PGCC firsthand. We have convenient service times with services on Sunday at 9 and 10.30 and trust we have plenty of activities for the kids. Prairie Grove Christian Church, serving Western Washington County and beyond. Love God, love others, and serve others. Prairie Grove Christian Church. Back to the action here, and now Tice is going to get it in the backcourt. Under two and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Tigers trailing. Yeah, telegraph that one. Got to be careful. Escarino almost timed that well enough for an easy layup. He gets that. It's kind of like a pick six. Mm -hmm. Sure. We took a timeout. I'm not sh trying to see what we're trying to line up with. And Tice, oh, wow, he had Purcell there just for a moment. Leighton Smith drives all the there way in. Go. He's going to get a foul. Now, nice Attack take. Attack the take. rim. Nice take. Now Saner going to come back in. Barnum. Boy, I remember him in this season. Yeah, he was uh, he was a heck of a football player. You know, Lincoln made a great run, you know, and uh, represented the conference well along. You know, the Tigers did also. Um, I think, you know, what was really interesting is this season went on and Prairie Grove hand, you know, Prairie Grove won the game. I mean, it was a good close game. But I thought after that, I said, well, Lincoln really got up for it. They'd drop off, and they didn't. They nope. played well the rest of the year. And, um yeah, this, their senior class in, in all sports is, is really, really, really exceptional. And we missed both free throws there. That hurts. Mm, that's, those are tough. Not when you work that hard for baskets. Points are a premium tonight. No, oh, my gosh, did you see that? We let we left. If there was a pass to yeah, Goldman, he was all, all by himself. Yeah, they're, they're leaving the shooters alone, you know, especially out uh, outside the three-point line. There aren't a lot of contested threes. I wouldn't leave. I wouldn't leave Goldman open anywhere. At least not tell us all he miss a three. <laughs> yeah. See, Ty should take him there. You know, if you're going to pull him that far from the basket, you got to pull him out for a reason. Ty thought about the three. What you don't see a lot of is a lot of picks to get uh, backdoor cuts or you know have tie and off I, the dribble. And I've seen some of that during the season. I'm not. I, I don't know if it's what they're running against us, the personnel. I mean, you can say uh, pick and roll is the easiest uh, and the oldest to play in basketball. Leighton Smith driving again. It, ah, boy, that was ah. Uh, you just hate to see just that. A, I working. mean, the, the possession was was going all right. And then you turn the ball over. You, you can't do it. Not against a good team. I'm looking over in the student section. I see two uh, two of next year's uh, prime football players. I see Bobby Cat and Eli Lopez sitting over there cheering on the Tigers. That'll be a, a duo next year. The cat lack. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. And now, missed free throw that time by... Lincoln, you know, and for for his number twenty-three, you know, for Justin his, Brewer, for as out of sync as Prairie Grove has played, I mean, Lincoln's not doing a whole lot to pull away from him. Now mm. they miss both frees, but yeah, then but Escarino with a you nice. You can't have that. Three-pointer on the way, in and out. Come on, Dalton. Saner again can't get the rebound, and finally you can't, him, you can't give him three shots at it. McConnell, you cannot fold here in the last twenty-something seconds. You need the baskets. Get over the line. Tice thought about the three. Yeah, they're they're 
they're matching up with him. They're, they're putting right. as many people as they can near him. If What you do here, you just take that last. There There's you go. Saner in and out. No good. Now they got enough time to get a shot off. Got to hustle back Pulse down the for floor. three. That's going to be high. Well, a very kind of slow-moving. Ugly. Ugly. <laughs> ugly. Y'all just use the ugly, ugly. first half, and uh, the, the Lincoln Wolves lead the Prairie Grove Tigers 21-17. We're going to take a, a good break here, run some commercials. We'll be back with some stats and ready for the second half. You just bought that first home or maybe the first new car and you want it properly covered. Think Shelter Insurance and Mark Spence. Or maybe you just welcome into the world that little gift of a child. You want to make sure that their future is secure. Think Mark Spence and Shelter Insurance. Let's face it, you want someone local, someone that you know, someone that can be by your side when you need them to be there. Think Mark Spence and Shelter Insurance. Home, life, auto, RV, boat, motorcycle insurance. Think Mark Spence, your local shelter insurance agent. Call 846-2999. That's 846-2999. Shelter Insurance and Mark Spence proudly support Tiger Athletics and activities. Our playground is sad and old. Whoever gets the most um, boxes for the animals wins. It's important for the community to get involved. We want our community to rally for recess, to improve outdoor play, and to promote a healthy lifestyle. The kids need you to go to your local grocery store, purchase animals yogurt drinks, and send the boxes to any of the Prairie Grove schools. For more information, please go to rallyforrecess.com. Take a stroll down memory lane as you stride into Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake, where things are done the old-fashioned way. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and even late night, you'll find only the best. Breakfast to die for. A lunch offering fresh burgers and fries and dinner platters that are sure to keep you coming back for more. And did we mention hand-dipped shakes as well as a great selection of desserts? It all awaits you at Steak and Shake, located just south of the mall. Steak and Shake, life needs flavor. Life can come at you from a lot of different directions, and you need to be prepared with the proper insurance. Let John Galligan of the Galligan Insurance Alliance make sure that you, your loved ones, and your home, and all that's near and dear to you is properly covered. You see, the Galligan Insurance Alliance is an independent insurance agent and allows him the flexibility to shop the very best policy at the very best price, and this gives you the coverage and the peace of mind that you need at the rate that fits your budget. It's the best case scenario when it comes to covering all that is near and dear to you. Check them out on Facebook or drop by the website Galligan Insurance alliance.com and you can always call 479-282-0605 479-282-0605 the galligan insurance alliance PG Telco, built on community, focused on progress. But what does that mean to you? It means that you get to keep up with all your sporting events associated with Prairie Grove Athletics on a website furnished and maintained by PG Telco. It means that the folks at PG Telco have an interest in you, your kids, your school, and your community. And they're focused on progress. They're committed to bringing you the very latest in technology for your home or your office for telephone, internet, long distance, or direct TV. Think PG Telco, built on community, focused on progress.
Okay, we're back. Halftime stats. It's There's not a lot here. Uh, Prairie Grove boys with nine turnovers, Lincoln with four. On the point, Ty Tice, he has nine points. Storley with six and two from Purcell. That's it, 17 points. Yeah. For Lincoln, Hulse, he's sitting at two. McConnell with six. Escarino with two. And Escarino had a big game against us last year. And the man that's really done it is Goldman with three three pointers in the first quarter. He did have any in the second. And then Barnum has two, and they have 21. So 21 17. Uh, you know, you asked me kind of in between when the girls had a 50, uh, 66 56, they score this much. Uh, not quite, but typically you see a little more scoring out of the boys, but not tonight. Now. Yeah, it, and I don't know that it's good defense. It's just a, you know, it's just been one of those kind of muckety muck games. They're going to try to get there. You can see him there trying to set him up right yeah. there on the three-point line. He was hot early. Escarino gets him out. Now he gets a shot off high, kind of rushed it, but it's good. And just like that, it's a seven-point lead. And yeah, you're going to have to almost box and one him and keep keep somebody on him. Leighton Smith, he was all alone there, decided not to take the shot. 24-17. Leighton drives back out to Tice. There's... Purcell thought about it. Tice. Parker. You know, at some point you just gotta, you know, do away with the head fakes and shoot the ball. Yeah, we it's a lot of a lot of head fakes and then pass the ball off. 24-17. We need a little bit of a run, a little spark. There's been no real no one's gotten in a – you know what I think it is? No, I haven't seen a rhythm really by either team. The closest thing I've seen to a rhythm all night was when uh, Goldman for the Lincoln came off with a several. There air, you go. There was patience, and they yep. got it. 24-19. Hulse gets it down Dang. quick. And now, boy, he's tall. <laughs> <laughs> they said 6'6". Six, six. I, I – I don't know. He was standing next to Dylan, and he, he's he's probably 6'6". Six, six. Is, is, is Dylan 6'7"? He was looks he like a chicken wing compared to Dylan. But, <laughs> <laughs> but he's hot. He's got yeah, three. Yeah, he is. You know what? A guy like that, you would think he'd get a little more inside uh, points, but it's all of his points have come from the perimeter. Yeah, you need uh, some, uh, somewhere deep on the bench, you got to find the designated fouler and uh, and take a run at him. Get physical with him. There's Storley, no good. Rebound goes to Goldman. And nice play. No, not hustling back on the defense. Ugh. Yeah, going to get him for the foul. Seven-point lead. During halftime, went and saw what the smell was. They burned the popcorn. <laughs> well, we knew something was burning. It penetrated this gymnasium, yeah. didn't yeah. it? Well, like I said, there was no panic over that way, so I wasn't uh, getting up and leaving just yet. Oh, when you're talking panic, I thought you was talking about the game. <laughs> <laughs> 26 19. Tigers need to convert. Tice for three, that's off. Yeah, he forced that one. But and Leighton Smith gets the rebound. Yeah, they haven't had a lot of offensive rebounds. And now you got this a second chance. You get to, you work for a good shot. Nice That'll job. Work. And now Parker Galligan starting to work inside real well. 26-21. I need a stop here. Oh. Are they going to let him have They're going to give him two shots on that? Hmm. All right. First one up and good. I got it. <laughs> Second one on the way and good. 28-21. Dylan Sainer going to come back in for the Tigers. Good. I think they burnt that brat, too. <laughs> <laughs>
Maybe that's what they uh, they burned instead of the popcorn. I was talking to Dustin Dugan during halftime as well. There's Tice for three. Need that. Bottom. Yes, sir. yes that was a big shot. 28-24. Now here's right back at him is Goldman. Yeah, he Jake. gets it down quick. He saw Saner. He got yeah, rid of it. They're chasing him, though. There you go. Good board. There you go. Now's a chance. They two got two on, on one. Yeah. Nice Force put that. back by Purcell, but it's 28-26. I like this pace. I want to see this kind well, of pace. Well, up and down never hurts. You want, you know, this half court thing, it really, we've been at a disadvantage most of the night with the half court. Nice move, move by Holes. <laughs> nice job. 30-26, halfway here through the third period. I actually liked him leading him. And look, a ah. ah. little too fancy. There's three on two. And Storley did a nice, actually did a pretty nice job there. Coach Ed not happy with the foul. That'll uh, send Dylan McConnell to the line for a shot. He is good. Weston Fitz coming back in for Prairie Grove. And Justin Brewer in for uh, Lincoln. And it's good. We are 31-26. Lincoln leads really in this quarter. They had a four-point lead at half. Been up as many as seven. And just and sort of token six. pressure, just just more annoying than it is uh, than it is real, you know, yeah, real full out pressure. pressure. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, just more annoying, you know, time consuming. There you go. Oh, Dylan has got ah, that's what you wanted. Yep, you had him. You had the matchup you wanted. And you just got to make a better entry pass. Boy, and he had he had it open. I mean, mm -hmm. after the fact. 30-26, Lincoln playing this season so far undefeated. I think the biggest lead of the game has been seven points, and there's Barnum. And now down with a – wow, they're going to call. Number 23 that time, that is Justin Brewer. Second team foul. Second foul on Brewer. 32-26. Tigers need some kind of run, something to really – Nice, <laughs> nice pass. Good look from Stays Ty. right with it. Stay, stays right with it. That's the first one I've go. seen him miss, and they're going to call a foul. Thirty-two twenty-eight, Zach, and it's. I just can't. I can't even describe what what this game is like. It's just been a. Now Smith gets it over. You know, Goldman and uh, Sainer were standing down here by the foul line, on the inbounds pass, and. You know, if, each if, other you can, if you can somehow get Dylan isolated on him, I mean Dylan will, Dylan will just run right over him. He's so big. Ah. Oh. It was a good pass. Hit him in the hands. Storley's out right now. 32-28. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. And Prairie Grove needs to close this quarter strong. Ty Ty, there you go. And a foul on Dalton Simmons. And so Ty's will go to the line. 157 to go. Tigers trail 32-28. A minute 57 to go. Tie at the line. Not a bad, uh, not a bad person to have at the line right now. Is that good? <laughs> tie misses the first. Tanner Purcell back in for, for the Tigers. 
Man, you would have liked to have uh, both both ends of this, uh, both ends of the free throws. Yep, Ty will get the second one, 32-29. You know what we haven't seen here, and now we're starting to see it as a, a, a little, little bit, bit of pressure. Yeah, a little bit of pressure. Make them work a little bit. Yeah, and you're going to have to do this, I think, to. Yeah, Tanner didn't get his, he didn't get his hips turned. They're yep. going to call it that time. And I'm surprised Dillon didn't lower his shoulder. <laughs> so, I, think you know, he, I think he wanted to. Yep. Chance for the Tigers. That one was a little bit flat. There he goes. So Sainer's going to yeah, go to the line. He's, he's starting to get integrated into the game a little bit. And maybe took a little contact to get him going. Dalton Simmons is a senior. He doesn't have to worry about facing Dylan on the football no, field next year. So he, no. he took a shot at him while he could. Sainer, free throw on the way. Good. 32-30. Good. Oh. And now with a minute 34. You know, what I would essentially say the quarterback now back in for Lincoln. Hulse is just kind of what makes – Hulse is the pulse of the team for them. Wow, look at you. I, <laughs> That was there very, you that go, was very, big, big, big. That was very Arn's Nest. <laughs> that was. It was very nice. <laughs> Chance for the Tigers to tie, 32-30. Boy, having seen her out here at the top of key, he might as well. Yeah, he, boy, he, him and there's Tice, no good. Rebound goes to Goldman. Now – Scarino, and we're down to a minute left. Holtz with the ball, 32-30. Need a stop here. That was a chance to tie there. I thought we may pull it off. We don't have any real foul trouble. I, that's why there's a three-pointer on the way. Whew, boy, he's tough. 30 seconds to go here, third quarter. Tigers trail 35-30. Dylan is working so hard inside, they won't get it in there. There you go. You got to catch it, Dylan. Oh, uh, man, not that one good. Away. Not good. Not a bad that ah. Uh. Tigers need a points here right before the half. Can Uh, it's a good idea. Zach, it was 32-30 with yep. a less than a minute to go. They scored five points in the last minute and take the largest lead at the, or tie the largest lead of the game at 37-30. Yeah, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to tighten up their defense a little bit and stop turning the ball over. I think pressure here, I think I'd I'd do a little full court pressure here to start the fourth quarter. Well, let's take a break. Fourth quarter on the way, Tiger Strill, 37-30. I wonder if Buck Lewis had any idea as to what he was starting when he sold his first Ford back in 1946. He was on the square in Fayetteville. Then Tom and Herb Lewis made the move to the current location on North College back in 1969. But through all those years, a Lewis has always been at the helm, and that tradition continues today. It's that kind of family value and heritage that makes Lewis Automotive the place to buy your next vehicle. Be it a Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, Ram, or Jeep, new or used, you can still find a Lewis standing behind every single deal. Award-winning service. Six locations and over a 1,000 vehicles. It's amazing. A lot has changed, but the Lewis heritage and tradition continues. Lewis Automotive, proudly serving Northwest Arkansas since 1946. Well, Zach, we were just talking about off the air, and I, I mentioned to you about matchups. Snoop's here. <laughs> the thing... <laughs> The thing, you got Prince playing and Snoop, Snoop in the house. Snoop's in the house. Well, the thing, the thing is, Zach, is that you got, and it's Snoop Lion now, by the way. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he changed it. Very important to get the basket to start here in the fourth quarter. But you and I were talking about just a little bit that this is not, the, I'm, I'm telling you, this is not at all like the same team I watched play Gravit a month ago. Hulse for three. 
that was a big miss because Tigers go down 10, and I'll tell you, it, it, the way points have been in a premium. Storley uses a nice backboard. Yep. Now need a couple stops, Zach. Got to close this thing down and get it into a one possession game. Yeah, they they've gone. They got uh, they've got late. What, is it Leighton that's on him? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, they're getting. They're going to get physical with Goldman. I think that's what you have to do. Is you almost turn it into a four on four game. Well, no one's in foul trouble right now, so I think you can. I think you can do that. I always believe with with guys that were you know that tall didn't have a great deal of weight. If you were physical with them, you know bumped them a few times when they're taking shots, they'll they'll start to back away and start to think about it a little more. Escarino through three quarters only with two points. He was a big guy for them last year, but he's been held to two. But boy, he might turn loose in the fourth, and he gets the first points of the for Lincoln, 38-32. That was Purcell's first foul. With with this kind of not in that big a foul trouble. You got to go after him, I believe. Second one's also good, 39-32. Can't have it. That's probably, boy, I tell you what. Well, you're at the tipping point here. If you're he knocks exactly this right. down, it gets to double digits. And this would be this is the nine points, and now misses it. Yeah, but they get the, the rebound. The rebound. Yeah, Coach Sainer's going to come back in. Well, a nine-point lead, largest lead of the game. Prairie Grove's going to have to press the action here. They're going to. I think they're going to have to get transitional baskets. The half-court game has not been no. working tonight. No, I don't think you uh, you can't rely on it. Ty ties. Careful with the basketball. Got to be careful with it. And this pressure, or I wouldn't call it pressure, but the full court defense that they've been running, because it's not really pressure, it's just awkward. It's mm -hmm. awkward. Prairie Grove's been awkward all night attacking it. They're just having trouble getting out of their own end. You don't need fancy passes. You need good passes. Passes that get guys into shooting position. Well, what you got to do is you got to make – you can't really press unless you make a basket. You make a basket, you press. Mm -hmm. And so that's – I think we're going to need to do something to kind of jumpstart the offense from a defensive standpoint. Need a big basket here. Take it, Ty. Oh. Yeah, he thought about it and then changed his mind about halfway through that. He got five on three down here. And there's Holtz. I thought he's going to take the three. He's going to pull out. Nice ball movement by Lincoln. There you Sainer go. Good rebound. Down the rebound. All right, come on, press it. No one wants to take the shot there, Zach. Yeah, you're right. A lot of bodies falling, and I'm kind of glad the rest of starting in. to get a little frustrated. See, this is what they should have been doing for three quarters. If you watch him, he's getting a little frustrated with him. You know, Layton's he's putting hands on him. He's, he's pushing him. In. And now he's getting a little frustrated. He's thinking more about where Layton is and not about the game. Well, they're down nine. Escarino made a nice baseline mm -hmm. move that time. Got just... Got, got a position. Just, just got a nice quick step that time on Purcell and was able to to drive baseline and that's Purcell's second foul. Now both teams will be in the bonus from here on out. 
Escarino gets his fifth point of the night, third here in the fourth quarter, and they've all come from the line here in the fourth. 42-32. Well, if they're going to make a run, Zach, it's got to be here. Sainer goes up strong, no good. Sainer battling, they're going to call him over the back. They're going to get one and one now. And they're just, I, I think you're right, nobody, nobody really wants to take the shot. And, we're gonna and get Coach Ed's going to take a timeout. Let's take a timeout with them. 4.38 to go, Tigers trail, 42-32. You just bought that first home or maybe the first new car and you want it properly covered. Think Shelter Insurance and Mark Spence. Or maybe you just welcome into the world that little gift of a child. You want to make sure that their future is secure. Think Mark Spence and Shelter Insurance. Let's face it, you want someone local, someone that you know, someone that can be by your side when you need them to be there. Think Mark Spence and Shelter Insurance. Home, life, auto, RV, boat, motorcycle insurance. Think Mark Spence, your local Shelter Insurance agent. Call 846-2999. That's 846-2999. Shelter Insurance and Mark Spence proudly support Tiger Athletics and activities. Well, Zach, with 4.38 to go here, Neither team, to me, I mean, I, I, I give Lincoln, they're winning the game. They're winning by double digits now, 10 points. It's just been an ugly game mm -hmm. on both sides. No one's made, I mean, I, if there's any bright spot on either side, I would have to say Goldman's three-point shooting. But even that's cooled off a little bit as of uh, the last couple trips. Well, they've, they've manned up on him, and, and they're bothering him. They're, they're pushing him and, and bumping him, and that, that's certainly taking him out of his game a little bit. The Prairie Grove's just got to get something going. The half court is just not working at all. And now, no, not. Nah. Yep. Now, if you're Lincoln, you can. If you're Lincoln now, you can really start taking your time yeah. and start running some clock off. There you go. There That's you go. the first basket in quite some time for the Tigers. And if they can chip away at it here over the next two minutes or so and maybe get this thing down to you know three or four. Well, you got to get a rebound right yeah. there. Oh. Like when you get something good going, you know, something they, they, they've got to just, I, I, I don't know. I, I think you've got to get, uh, you know, they, they're better when, they, when they're running up and down the floor. You know, like you said, the half-court game just isn't working. They've missed a lot of free throws down. I mean, if they'd been making free throws, this thing would essentially be over mm -hmm. right now. And it's getting close to being that way now as Prairie Grove makes some type of charge. Here in the next uh, minute, minute and a half, you don't see a, a breaking of this lead. This thing's over. Galligan inside, turn good. 46-36, and now the Tigers. That's that short. was short. If you're going to make a run, now is the time, Zach. Yeah, you're, you're going to need a three here shortly to cut this thing down. I mean, 46-36 right now. You're down under three minutes to go in the game. And now Ty ties. He's guarded by McConnell. Uh, 
And so he's going to go to the line for one and one. Need both of these. That cuts it to eight and one. Get it down to six, Zach, and there's a shot. Yeah. If, if they can get it, you know, with a minute and a half, get it to a two-possession game, they've got a shot. Escarino now with three fouls. No one in serious foul troubles. We go to the last 242. Tice got it. Big shot. 46-37. Lincoln will be shooting double bonus from here out. Tice misses that one and now down to nine point lead. And Hulse bringing it down quickly. There's McConnell. Just not getting back on nope. defense. Yep. Oh, Ooh. he called the ball. Wow. That's four on Escarino. You know, they were gonna, he almost called a charge there. I think he made the right call. It looked like he did slide underneath him right there at the end. Yeah, I don't know if he had his feet set, but Jacob definitely lowered his shoulder. Big. That's four, he's gonna take a seat. Coming in is Barnum. convert. Ah, oh, that's what you can't do. But they're going to get Barnum for the foul. So Storley goes to the line. Who's going to the line? Jacob should be. Storley, if he can convert this, it takes it down. If he can get the two, it would be down to seven. Need this free throw by Storley. Free throw on the way. Got it. 48-40. And you saw the pressure, Zach, and it it, it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. It definitely does. It's something they haven't done the whole game. Storley's second one there is also go. good. And All now 48-41. Right. Find your man. Oh, nice steal. Nice and a nice play, job Ty by Tice. Ty Tice. And all of a sudden, this has become a basketball game. Storley with 14 points yep. and now a timeout. Take a timeout. Lincoln. Well, let's take the timeout with them, Zach, with 214. The Tigers trail 48 41, but we'll have the ball when we come back. Take a stroll down memory lane as you stride into Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake, where things are done the old fashioned way. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and even late night, you'll find only the best. Breakfast to die for. A lunch offering fresh burgers and fries and dinner platters that are sure to keep you coming back for more. And did we mention hand dipped shakes as well as a great selection of desserts? It all awaits you at Steak and Shake, located just south of the mall. Steak and Shake, life needs flavor. We're back, 2.14 to go, 48-41. Tigers need, boy, I tell you, a big chance here. Cut it down and Tice with the ball. Not a lot of time, gonna have to attack quickly. Tice, oh, waited just a little long to pull the trigger. Oh, and Storley fell. Storley fell. Oh, Weston Fitz Weston gets Fitz. Back. Leighton Smith for three, boom! Oh! It's 48-44, and now it's down to four points. Probably not a bad foul there no. because he was gonna have an easy layup. 48-44, gonna make a game out of it at least. Goldman will have two, they're in a double bonus now. Boy, we could, we could let, uh, boy, I'd love to see miss a couple. 48-44, <laughs> <laughs> 17 points on the night so far for Goldman. Most of those coming from three-point, and now one from the free throw line, 49-44. You said, Zach, had to be within two possessions yep. about a minute about and a half. About a minute and a half. I mean, you're, you're two possessions into this. 
You know, the, the, I guess the disadvantage is here, you can't really, well, I guess you can foul, but in the double bonus. Yeah. Oh, you've oh, got to have that rebound, though. Oh, that was huge. That was huge. Oh, uh, and they throw it away. We'll take the turnover. We'll take wow. the turnover. One Five minute and points. a half, a minute and a half, two possession game, 49-44. But now you got to convert. You can't, gotta convert. you can't take forever, guys. And Smith's got the ball. Leighton Smith, a long three. No good. Yeah. Rebound. Goes to Parker Galligan. Puts it up. Oh. No good. Should be a foul. It's going to be a foul. And Leighton Smith's going to go to the line. He'll get two shots. Yeah, that'll put him in the double bonus. Double bonus. So 33 now. Goldman has Boy, his second big. foul. You've got to have these. He can knock these down. Pulls it within a one shot. This it. was a 10-point game two minutes ago. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We, at the three-minute at the three minute mark, we said if they're going to make a run, had to do it. Here's Leighton Smith. Got it. Big one. 49-45. Lincoln has uh, played hard, and then here in the last two minutes, Prairie Grove started applying the pressure. We talked about it. Smith's next one, no good. No good. Rebound mm. is Lincoln's, and now a long pass. Now you may have yeah, to foul. Yeah, you may have to foul. Pick somebody. There you go. They're going to pick Hulse with 102 to go. Ty's got two on foul, only two fouls on Ty. You got to have the rebounds here. On mm -hmm. the, if there's a missed shot, you got to have the rebound. And it may not be a bad idea for Coach Ed to call a timeout here to, to maybe, you know, if they because they're still doing that. Uh, he makes it. They're still, you know, the, the 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 full court defense they've had all night. We're still, it's making it's, us. It takes a long time to get, get the ball it over. over. Yeah. We're, we're we're spending almost the entire ten seconds to get it over. Makes them both. Fifty-one, forty-five. Yep. See, it's just taking a long time. There's, oh, Weston Fitz, no good. Parker Galligan for three, no good. Fitz, Ty Tice drives. There is Parker Galligan for three. Got yes! him! They're within one. Yep. They're within one right now, one possession, 451-48. Boy, I tell you what, if you're Lincoln right now, it's like, boy, you just gave them four chances. I mean, you, you got to get the boards there if you're Lincoln. For Prairie Grove, you can see the sign of somewhat yeah. desperation going after every single basket there. Well, now you got to foul, and you got to foul, and you got to hope they miss. Well, before you do, what, what you want to do here is you want to apply the full court pressure. Yep. They got 10 seconds yeah, to get over the line. If they get in, if they, once they yeah. get once they get in the front court, you got to foul immediately. If you can get the turnover down here, you don't have to have a three. Just convert, and now all of a sudden mm -hmm. you're in it. So I think here, and then you don't have to foul if you can. Play the defense. You can play for a little bit, but yeah, they they play better when they're when they, when it's up tempo. I, and that's what I was saying it earlier in the in the in the in the webcast tonight. That's what that's when I see them play their best. The half court tonight, and especially the way the way we match up with these guys, wasn't a the half court game just wasn't working mm -hmm. all night. And now, yeah, they've scored 16 points in the last. Two minutes? Yeah, last play. Uh, two and a half? Two and a half minutes, yeah. yeah. Well, here, you know, Leighton Smith's done a, a pretty nice job on. He really has. I mean, he's really, yeah, so that was too easy. Just too easy. Now you got a foul. Yep, you got a foul now. You know, it only took seven seconds, but the, that, that uh, inbounds was just too easy. You got to hope for at least one miss here, and then you're then you're still. Mm, I'm hoping for two misses. Oh yeah, I'm always hoping for <laughs> two, but well, I'll take one at least. Goldman's been kind of the, the hot hand for them tonight. That one there is you off. Go. So now, very critical. Goldman sitting at. Uh, he's got 17 points, 18 points tonight. Boy, I, I tell you what, the way Weston's getting the loose balls, I'd like to see him stay yeah, in there. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to show up big in the box score, but a uh, couple the, of loose balls that he did get. Big shot here. That one's good. Yep. 
And back to a two possession game. And that's game. what you want. You got Ty Ty. So he quickly gets it down the court. And you don't need a three. But you got to have a basket soon. Gallagher. He gets up, lines up a three. Good! Oh, ho, ho! I guess, oh, I guess ho, ho! if you're going to leave him alone. 52 41. 52 51. 52 51. 14.2 seconds. And Galligan has hit two very I, You know, I know this is crazy, but the way that they're shooting threes all of a sudden, I'd foul immediately. I mean, immediately, and make them make them knock down two free throws. I, when you see them play like this, you wonder why weren't we making that? You know, why weren't we doing that? And I know that you can't always do that for an entire game. And Coach Ed brought it on here at the end. And boy, if he can, hey, even a foul, even a foul here. A and foul. making them both, you got a three-point shot. It's still a one-possession game, no matter what you do. But I think yeah. you got to foul them immediately. You got 14.2 seconds on the clock. You've got to foul. You you can't let too much time no, you, come, off, I think you, come off the clock. You can't let. You can't wait for it to go past half. I think you kind of play it here. If you don't get the trap quick, yep. get the foul. You got to foul quick. Yeah. Now they, now they had an easy inbound to McConnell the last time through. Oh. Yep. They're gonna. Oh, he's right. Coach Ed is upset about it and should be. He moved. He Eight. moved. And you can't do that, Zach. Nah, don't want to got to be careful and not let uh, not let the emotion get the best of you. You don't need a technical now. Well, there's plenty of time. Sure, 13 seconds. Hulse is a good free throw shooter. He's got the little head bob, whatever it's doing. That yeah, I'm not sure what that is. That's his mojo that makes it work, and he's going to do it again. <laughs> That's an offense for defense substitution. Well, you're almost here. If he misses it, I'm not so sure you don't take the timeout. Well, but no, you maybe push it. If he misses it, you better come up with a rebound. Everybody go to the board. You got to box out here. He shouldn't have. He just turned and looked. That, whatever was said there, could cause him because he used, he's out of his groove. Now he gets back into his mojo. On the way, he's got, got it. Got it. Ty Ty's pushing it quick. Ten point six. Ten seconds, three point deficit. Well, Zach, I got to tell you something. For these games are uh, eight minute quarters. For twenty, uh, let's see, uh, 24, 29 minutes. Twenty nine minutes. Twenty nine yeah. minutes. I'm like, wow, really, really? And I'll tell you, the last three minutes have been <laughs> worth every bit of it. Well, yeah, the last you know, last couple of minutes here, they scored nineteen points and got and they they cut the deficit from ten down to three. Do you? You're, you're, you're 10 seconds to go in the game. You, you got everything you want here. Galligan with eight points in this quarter. Think about this, Zach. We get a we get here. We've almost scored more in the last mm -hmm. few minutes. We did the entire game. That's exactly right. Uh, what do you draw up here, Coach? Well, you're the basketball well, guy. I think here. I, well, I think here. What you have to do is you got to pull something. You got to come from off the screen. Try to get. I think either Galligan, you got two options here. I think you got Galligan or Tice, either First one. First thing you get the ball in. Yeah, and, and <laughs> get, the, get the, the ball other, in. The other thing you may see here, Zach, is that all these guys on the court can make a three. Now here's Tice. All right. There it is. Don't panic. Yeah. Oh. Galligan for three. Oh! Oh, oh my God! Oh! oh! <laughs> Wow. We're going to overtime. <laughs> We're going to overtime. Oh, my goodness. And let's get a camera shot of the student section wow. over there. Look at them. They are going ape nuts. Oh, my. Well, now, when you get into overtime, keep the pace up. Keep the pressure up. It's wow. working. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. You know that, I mean, after the pass got tipped, you thought it was kind of a lost cause. But I, I don't know. I think it was Tanner Purcell that made the, the pass back to him. Yeah, just tapped uh, it just out. Just tapped it out to him. Galligan yeah. with wow. three three-pointers down the stretch has tied this game. Now, with this kind of momentum, you've got to feed on it, Zach. you got to go, 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 go. We talk about momentum in sports. You and I talk about it. I talk about it a lot when I go to the volleyball. I don't know. We do volleyball games, too. Those I know things nothing are, about you know, volleyball. <laughs> There's a lot of momentum in that. But, but think about the national championship game. Which that one? Was a football national championship game just a few a few days ago. Okay, good. The fake punt mm -hmm. by 
Coach Jimbo Fisher that yes. night changed the momentum of the game. That is a momentum thing. Now, they're going to get the tip here. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what, you know, you love it whenever you have – you have Lincoln and Prairie Grove or, or Farmington and Prairie Grove, whatever, in these kind of games. This is what Robert, you can see we're on the Lincoln side over here. They're excited. This is a game. Yeah, yeah. They, it's a game now. And, and w what you don't want to see here for Prairie Grove is you don't want to go back into the slow down half court. Keep the pace up. Keep the pressure up. Gallagher, go, well, play, go play your game. Now, Escarino's playing with four fouls. That is Parker put, Galligan playing with Leighton four fouls. put Layton back on, on Goldman. Oh, they're oh. going to call. That might be five on Galligan. Ooh, that would be uh, that would be tough. Galligan been the hot hand. I'd actually. The one thing that you have there, even though he fouled out, kind of a cheesy call there. I mean, he, he got a lot of ball, but anytime you're out of position and you go to block a shot, mm -hmm. kind of they're going to call. They're going to call it. Makes it 55-54, 3.50 to go. Well, regardless of what comes out here, what a nice way to strong finish. You and I talked about it at the three-minute mark. You're going to make a move. They made it. Now here, second shot on the way, rattles in. Careful. There you go. And now 3.35 to go here in overtime. Sainer. Tice for three. No good. Rebound goes to Escarino. Got to find Goldman. I think Lincoln's content right now to run as much clock as they can. Escarino for three, big oh, three, and it's good. Wow. Big shot there by Escarino. And see this slower tempo. This is. And I think this is the right move here. They called timeout? No, they didn't call timeout. Had a player hurt. Had a player hurt there was Leighton Smith, and he's going to go off. But see how the game, when it slows down. Boy, I like Weston fits in the game in this kind of situation. It's scrappy. You know, but you know, who, who's going to take the shot now? Sainer, free throw line, yes, good, rattles sir. it in. There you go. 59-56, pressure, ah, the guys, they got out of the pressure. Not sure why they got out of that, Zach. It was working. Well, maybe that's why. <laughs> there we go. You don't have to have a three here, just nope. keep pace. Keep pace right now is what you want to do. One, one possession game is all you need. I don't like that pass, boys. Don't like that one either. No, thank, thank goodness Dylan 6'6". Six, six. Ties, pull up, jumper Good. off the rim. Boy, that was not a bad shot by Ty. Just no. kind of didn't quite line up for him, but now it's going to be two shots. That's the thing about now three fouls on Purcell. The thing is now everybody's in a double bonus. They're a pretty good free throw shooting team. Now fatigue does set in a little bit here. Free throws become critical. 59-56. Prego's going to have to make a conversion next time down. 60-56. Five-point lead.
There you go, Dylan. Good job by Sainer. Got to have a stop here. Got to need a stop. Now Lincoln will be content here, but you got. I think you can put pressure. Don't have to foul just yet, but you got to play up close. You, you got to be up close on them here. Oh. He wanted Dylan to foul Barnum. Yeah. He wanted Dylan to foul Barnum. He's probably looking at the free, and I don't know, Barnum may be a great free throw shooter, but my guess is he's, he, he's of the ones on the floor, that might be the one you want to foul. And he was begging Dylan to foul him, begging him. Hulse, I don't think he's missed a free throw yet. Has he missed a free throw yet, Gretch? He's not the one you want to foul. No, he's, you know, and you're fighting to just keep this thing to a one possession game. Get it out of there quick. This just takes too long. I do not like this at all. Haven't liked it all night. Well, foul. Sainer needs both of these free throws right here. That's going to be four, I believe. That's going to be four on Goldman. So if we were to be able to take it into a second overtime, that's his, his third. That's his third. I thought it was four. It's three on Goldman. 104 to go. Sainer, we need him, pal. First one on the way. Got Good. it. 63-59. If you'd have told me with – Five minutes to go in the game that we were going to get as many points as the yeah. girls game, I would have never believed it. Leighton Smith looks like he's back checked back in, in and out. Mm, big miss. That, he got the foul, and he got the foul That's that the he, foul wanted. he wanted. Yeah. Big miss that time by Sainer, though. Leighton Smith's going to come back in, Zach, and Barnum off the front of the rim. Now that's why they wanted to foul him. Now if he can somehow get the miss here, and you're still only four down, but it's, uh, it's you, two possessions. you got him. You got to go quick. <laughs> now, if he makes this, the clock will stop because they'll bring in – I can't see the number coming in. Barnum, a second shot on the way. It's in no and sir. out. Well, so now – Clearly, clearly, I think we found the guy to foul. Nice job. Big miss. Ah, oh, you know what? It was <coughs> he had the shot. He had a good shot. Just didn't go for him. That's four with Tice. Gosh, that was a chance to pull mm -hmm. it within two there, Zach. Now you're going to probably be down six with 43.9 to go. Yeah, but still two possessions. And any way you look at this, you're still down two possessions. This first one's on the way. It's good. <laughs> Goldman's not the guy you want to foul, and they got the guy a while ago, actually had the chance to pull it within two and just could not convert. Now coming into the game is Brewer. And they take out Barnum. They, 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 yeah, yeah, I think they want to get him off the floor. No more foul shots. Down to two possessions. Now Tice and company have to make something happen here. They don't have Galligan, who made the big threes down the stretch. Uh, jump ball stays with Prairie Grove. But, you know, that's a, that's a clean look. That's another missed... Missed opportunity. It's a clean look, and you know, he can't convert. <laughs> going to need a bass. Going to need something here. Mm -hmm. They still got time, but not a lot. Yeah, you're, you're starting to get into that have to have a three territory. Uh oh. Got to got to got to come after it, Ty. Weston Fitz, no good. Rebound. That's probably going to do it right there. Well, that if that didn't. This does. Or, or maybe not. The time's running too short. Fitz for three. No good. Oh, timeout. Timeout. 
65. Not probably going to be enough time here, Zach. It will take uh, it take a minor miracle. Yeah, here. They've, well, they've had some open looks, you know, here the last minute. They just haven't been able to convert. Well, here's what you do here. It's going into, you know, we're here in overtime. The only, the only real prayer they have here is two. You got to have two steals here mm -hmm. on this end of the court with quick baskets. And I mean, you've got to. The first one's got to be within three seconds, and then you got to hope for the best. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're in a spot, but. You know, if, if you'd told me with a minute and a half to go in, in, in regulation that uh, that we'd knock down a three at the buzzer, well. Well, here's the, the Zach, I'll tell you, not his fault uh, because I actually thought he got a good shot off. The one that just rolled just off the rim mm -hmm. on Tice, that was probably the one because if he makes that, you're within two yep. and you got quite a bit of time left. The free throw miss by Sainer there. Uh, also made it a two-possession game. With his ma make there, it would have been a one-possession game. Um, so I'll tell you, if I'm Lincoln here, one of the things you think about doing, you just think about tossing the ball. Sure, yeah, you, you throw, throw it the length of the court. Because even if they get it, what do you? What, you put somebody at the, yeah. the foul line and just throw it as far as you can. That's yeah. smart. you got to get somebody yep. on this. And there it is. That'll do it. Well, it's a great game, Zach. For, for like I said, for uh, 20, 29, 29 minutes, we 29 real minutes. Sure, I could have done without it, but the last three minutes were uh, of regulation, and then uh, you know overtime was a good good basketball game. Well, our statistician's going to do some tallying, and then we'll look at it. Well, Prairie Grove's going to fall to one and two in the conference. Lincoln now 11 and 0 on the season. They're three and 0 in conference, and so. Uh, they're keeping pace with Gravit. Uh, I can tell you, uh, based off of what I've seen so far, uh, Gravit, I believe, is the toast of the conference. I mean, it, Lincoln won tonight. They played a great game, Prairie Grove, and then went battle. But Lincoln, I mean, uh, Gravit got a lot of uh, – they just seem to have it across the board. And they got two outstanding players. Uh, Pierce knocks down everything he shoots. Um so we'll see how that kind of plays out. I don't know when those two play. Prairie Grove tomorrow night. We'll come with you with another webcast. It'll be Gentry. Well, let's look at uh, Prairie Grove. Uh, Ty Ty's 14 points. Storley with 16. Purcell with four. Uh, Leighton Smith with six. We had uh, Galligan with 15. Big points. And, and of those 15, 11 in the fourth, the fourth quarter, quarter with three yeah. three-pointers. During, during about a two-and-a-half-minute and span. Yeah, and he got the one right there to send it into mm -hmm. overtime. And then Sainer with six. On the other side, uh, Hulse, you know, he was a guy from the free throw line. He didn't miss any, and that really was big. He had ten points, and I believe uh, six of those were from the free throw line. McConnell with 14, Brewer with four. Escarino ended up with eight. Goldman, he was the high-point yep. guy, 23 and six. Well, I'd say for the stake and shape player game for Prairie Grove, it had to be Parker Galligan. Mm -hmm. He's the guy who hit the big shot, and he also hit the big threes down the stretch. Well, that's going to do it for tonight. I want to thank our East Lab students and uh, being here on a uh, on a snow day for them. Uh, Mr. Bond for helping getting everything put together today. Zach, thank you for filling in tonight. Anytime. It's, yeah, and uh, we'll look forward again tomorrow night. And uh, for Zach Arns, Link Gregson, for all of Prairie Grove uh, East Lab, that'll do it. We'll see you tomorrow night when Prairie Grove faces Gentry. <laughs>